Yes, Pod, you want to marry me niece, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And by check 20,000 pounds, you can't take the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Pass by two. So far, me marry Belinda Mace. Pass by two. Pick the come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. At your service. Stop Bob from traveling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Fail because of fix. Unless Bob mixes fixes tricks around the world with Pastor Two. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, Mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind maze. Around the world with Pastor Two. <laughs> Here, laddie, I'm Fix. Aha, uh, then for you, Honorable Fix, I have uh, this uh, telegram. Thank you, laddie. Mm -hmm. Must be from Lord Mays. He's the only one who knows I'm here. New three-step plan to stop fog. Step one, steal something which is very small, but very precious to the Japanese people, and hide it in fog's bag. Signed, Lord Mays. Hmm. Something that's small but very precious to the Japanese people. What could that be, Mr. Fix? Well, let's go see what Fog's up to. That'll give us an idea. Look here, Passepartout. A shop which sells pearls. <laughs> oh, you are in our southern pearls. You have come to the right place. Here are many beautiful pearls. White pearls, pink pearls, even black pearls. All sizes and shapes and colors. Parlez-vous! They are beautiful! Where do they come from? They come from inside oysters, young sir. But how do you get them? Divers swim down to the bottom of the ocean and find the oysters. Most divers are girls. Are they not beautiful, Monsieur Flock? Oh, look at this one. See how it shines. It is felt then. Perhaps we should buy it and take it back to Miss Blinda. Capital idea. I'll buy it. Oh, so sorry. This pearl is not for sale. This most famous pearl in all Japan. It is called the Pearl of Great Price. It belongs to all the people. Everyone in Japan knows this pearl. They would not permit it to go out of the country. Then we shall pick out another one. The pearl of great price may be small, but it is very precious to the Japanese people. Did you hear that, Mr. Fix? The pearl of great price is very small, but precious to the Japanese people. You have a plan, Mr. Fix? Do I have a plan? Do I have a plan? <laughs> I'll fix that fog! Moving along nicely, my boy. But we must not slow down. I will feel better if we go down to the dock and wait for our boat as soon as we have finished packing the bag. Very well. For a trip like this, I think we will need, let me see, a large sledgehammer. One sledgehammer. A long rope and a jug of water. A chisel and an ice axe. An ice axe? Oh, very well, monsieur. Chisel and ice axe. Good. And now we can be on our way around the world in 80 days. Fog 
will be coming out at any moment, Mr. Fix. How can you get this sack with a pearl in it in his bag? Why not disguise yourself as a robber, Mr. Fix? Tell him you're after his valuables. And then force him to take the paper sack. That's balmy, Mr. Fix. Oh, here they come. I've got it. You have to know your people in this business, and I know pretty as well. Watch this. I wish we had more time to travel about the city, my boy. But I'm afraid... Hold on, Passepartout. What is it, monsieur? Someone has littered the street with a paper sack. Here you are. But uh, what shall I do with it? There is no rubbish barrel here. Just put it inside our bag, Passepartout. We can get rid of it later. Remember, our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. Right you are, Phyllis Fogg. But those sweet rewards will be mine. <laughs> now for a little well-earned rest. A telegram of war, honorable fix. A telegram of war. Here, laddie, I'm fix. Of course, of course, honorable fix. Or well, here is your a telegram. Here is step two of the three-step plan to stop fog. Go to Mount Fuji and set up traps to delay fog when he climbs mountain. Blimey. How can Lord May say that Fogg will decide to climb Mount Fuji, when right now he is planning to go to the docks? Oh, here's more. I have let Blinda think she accidentally found out something important about Mount Fuji, and she will be arriving any minute to tell Fogg. So you must hurry up the mountain now. <laughs> for all people to wash their feet before climbing the sacred mountain, eh? Well, let's use this bag of cement to make sure Fog has some nice hard water. to warm himself halfway up the mountain. Well, Mr. Fix, we ought to be able to delay things a bit with a few well-placed bricks in the chimney. Why must we wash our feet before going up the mountain? 
Mount Fuji is sacred to the Japanese pass for two, so they don't want anything unclean touching it. They think of the mountain as a beautiful goddess whom they all love. Well, they should be very happy with our feet. But now let us go on and... Oh, Parlez-vous! Elias! It seems the water has turned to cement. Fix tricks! Fix tricks! What can we do? Can you reach the bag, Passepartout? Yes, monsieur. Then get me the sledgehammer. Of course! The sledgehammer has to break the cement! Free! Thank goodness! We have outsmarted that fix! But we must clean up this mess, my boy. All this broken cement? But where will we put the pieces? In the bag, Passepartout. Remember, our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. Oh, very well, monsieur. A tough climb up and down that mountain. Now for a nice long rest. Oh, a telegram for honorable fix. A telegram for honorable uh, fix. Not again. Step number three. With fog delayed on the mountain, you now have plenty of time to get the people all excited about the stolen pearl of great price. Tell them they can find it in Fogg's bag when he tries to catch the boat. They will throw him in jail for sure. Blimey, what a brilliant plan. And I know just where to start stirring up the people. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Sukiyaki, you've been robbed. Those Englishmen have taken the pearl of great price. I cannot believe it. They were polite gentlemen. But they did very much want to buy the pearl of great price. You bet. And look here. See, it's gone. They're going to smuggle it out of the country. Smuggle it out of the country? The people will not stand for it. You must stop them! I must stop them! I must stop them! Ah, a boy! Call the police! Yes, as a police! Police? Police! Police! Where in places is everybody? Oh, so I forgot. Everybody is at Kabuki Theater. Big performance by Kabuki Dazzles. Good. Let's go. We get them all at once. We'll tell everyone in Tokyo about those pearl stealers. Come on! Oh, monsieur, the bag is very heavy with all that cement. And now my hands are growing cold. Who would have thought it could be so warm at the bottom of the mountain and so cold halfway up? Mount Fuji is 12,000 feet high, Passepartout. Japan's highest mountain. Have we stopped to get warm, Phyllis? Of course, my dear. That is why they have this cheerful rest cabin. Ah, a fire is already set. I will light it at once. <laughs> From the bag, my boy. <laughs> the jug of water. Yes! Fix tricks, fix tricks. Look, Monsieur Fogg. Bricks have been put here to block the chimney. Oh, and I'm so cold. Hammer and chisel, Passepartout. <laughs> there now. I'll just start a new fire. That feels wonderful, Phyllis. Yes, it is nice. No time for you and me to sit, Passepartout. Let's clean up these broken bricks. But there is no place to put them. In the bag, my boy. But... Remember, our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. Oh, very well. Stop the music! Stop the music! Stop! Be quiet! Listen! Get that fire out of here! Wait! You don't understand! Listen to me! Feet robbery! The pearl smugglers! Thieves! The pearls 
in the bag! Smugglers! Well, we're almost at the summit. There is still no sign of Six. Perhaps he has... Are you all right, my dear? Yes, but this is very slippery. Look, Phileas, a note. What does it say? I fixed you, Fog. By the time you get out of this hole, you'll never make your boat. Signed, Fix. I told you, Fix tricks, Fix tricks. It's all my fault for getting you up here. Never mind. Get the rope from the bag, Passepartout. Tie one end to the bag and throw the other end down here. I have it! And this end is tied! You go up first, Belinda. Careful now. Help her up, my boy! I'm out, Phileas. Good job. And here I am. Good you put all the cement and bricks in the bag, otherwise it never would have held us. Our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. But I am afraid even the bag cannot help us get down the mountain. Not in time for our boat. Listen to me! Listen to me! They have stolen your precious pearl of great price! They're gonna snuggle it out of the country! If you don't believe me, ask him! It was true. The pearl was on display in my shop. The Englishman came in, and now the power is gone. And you'll find it in the bag of Phileas Fogg. Dear me, it's nearly time for your boat, Phileas. How will we ever get down quickly enough? It is much too far down the mountain. Think how long it took us to walk up. Then we cannot walk down. And this block of ice. The one fix dug out to make the hole. This is our answer. We shall ride down. Ride? Precisely. Hand me the ice axe, pass by two. Fog is planning to sail away with your pearl of great price. He is probably on his way to the boat right now. And he has the pearl in his bag. Oh, the pearl! This should get us down the mountain in a jiffy. Parlez-vous! We are going to slide all the way down! Precisely. Let's get aboard. Wonderful, Phileas. Bon voyage! <laughs> 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 Look! Look at all the people in the dark! We will crash into them! We have no way to stop this lead! We are doomed! No, we're not, my boy! Hand me the end of that rope. I'll just tie it to the end of the ice axe. But what good will that do, monsieur? Throw out the bag and watch! Very well, monsieur! We're slowing down! We're stopping! Bricks and cement, it has become an anchor. You were right, Phileas. Our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. Here it is. Here's the bag. And is that? Is that? The bag is all destroyed. It's gone to pieces. Look at all that mess. What is all this about? That man said. The pearl of great price was in your bag. And it was right here, I tell you. If Mr. Fix is so sure something was there which no one else can see, then he must have put it there. That man is an agent for my uncle, sent here to make you falsely accuse Phileas Fogg. So, that's it. Seize him! <laughs> Oh, my God.
I think he's getting all the punishment he deserves for the trouble he caused. Our rewards will be sweet if we keep our world neat. Good show, Master Two. Around the world in 80 days, Master Two. So Bob may marry Brenda Mace. Bob for two. Bob may fail because of fix. And then Bob nicks his, nicks his tricks. Around the world with Bob for two. Around the world in 80 days. So Bob may marry Brenda Mace. Around the world with 